let's get straight into this. Um, this is basically um, how I do do things. I, I stream all the time and I, I make my videos offline on a free web program called Open Broadcaster Software. Now I'm going to um, minimize this because I'm sure you guys can see double when it's maximized. Um, but the, the key programs to use are a program called XPadder and a program called X Input View. Now this X Input View program um, is is one that it's I had to do a hell of a lot of researching to find and it took me ages to find a program that simulates um, you know all the button presses in real time. Um, there were many around for like N64 controllers but I, it took me forever to find one for a 360 controller. But basically um, this program, I'll link you guys in the description below this video, there will be a link to this Dropbox link to where you can download X Input View. Now once you have it, all you do is you have an executable file, file like this, you double click it. Um, I don't know why that just opened that one. Hold on a second. So I double click this. <laughs> I go into expert, um, in X input view version 1.2. Sorry guys, my push to talk is, is, is uh, screwing it up. So I go into expert input view version 1.2. Um, the executable file that you'll get from downloading this program from the link that I'll give you guys. You then double click this and you go, um, you run the executable. Now as soon as that's run, uh, I've obviously got a double here, but um, it will just open this program. And this program, um, it simulates every single key press you can imagine on the controller in real time. Every single one. So you can do anything with it. Um, and that's that program. I'll get into that into more detail in a while. Um, this is X Padder, and this one I use for many things. Um, because I play trials with the uh, Xbox 360 controller, I often use things like push to talk and push to mute, and things like that. And I quite often set these to the D pad controls. Now, you, you can set anything to the that can simulate a key press. I'm not sure how big I can get this screen, but I'm sure you guys can see it. Now, you know, if I wanted to set push to talk to up, you know, I, I could set it to like the end key. If I wanted to set like um, mute the mic to say um, another key, I could I could use the insert key. You know, keys that aren't really used that much on the keyboard, so they don't really interfere when you're when you're trying to do things. Um, so that's that. But the main thing that I use this program for is only this. Now, where the um, power bar on trousers is the throttle bar. So we use RT, and this is the, this is RT here. Um, so there's a little like spanner head underneath this button on X padder. Now, if I bring this, I've got a second monitor, so I have to drag these things across. But um, this here is the status of how much power you're putting on the throttle bar. So when I use my overlays um, when I stream and do my videos. Um, this was done for me by a good friend, and it's you guys can essentially do the same thing. It's it's like a um, in trials on the top left where the timer is. We have a um, kind of like an art that's like a splodge effect, and he designed this for me. And this now playing thing, you guys can ignore that. That's where I put my music when I'm streaming. But the only things that I use for my um, controller overlay for trials is the LT, the RT, the the analog stick which you guys can see me moving in the top right here and the power bar. Now this is pretty much the only reason why I, I launch XPad as well as the push to talk and the push to mute buttons that I also I also use off it which are really awesome. Um, now when you click this you'll get this trigger left trigger right and basically when you hold it down you can it will show exactly how much percentage exactly how much percentage you're pressing on the uh, on the analog stick not the analog stick the trigger stick 
Um, you know, and this is key for when you're like trying to show people throttle control and and all sor sorts of things. You know, like subtle subtle power. Um, it's the same with the brake as well. And you can you can even I choose not to make a second bar for the brake because usually when I brake controls I just brake hard so it goes automatically to 100%. And you know I, I only necessarily do that for a split second so I didn't think that was necessarily needed. But you guys can use that if you want to. Um, um, but you know the main one is this this status bar. Now, of course, everything I use the the status of the trigger. Uh, the analog sticks and the RT LT buttons. Um, I have to shrink everything down and resize it so it fits my overlay for my videos. Now, the way I do this is in Open Broadcaster software, um, if I scroll up here, I'm going to maximize this a little bit. It's going to be a bit of a, of a feedback problem here, but I'm, I'm sure you guys will will understand what's going on better if it's, it's maximized. Um, so basically I have all my my trigger things here. Now what I use is this is a window capture. Um, so when you want to add the the analog stick, the, the left analog stick of an Xbox 360 controller to your video overlay, you go I'm sure you can do this with other um, streaming programs but or video making programs but for now I, I only know open broadcaster software so I can only explain it to you guys using this um, some of you guys may use different uh, you know video editing things but w what I do is in open broadcaster software I, I left I right le uh, sorry I right click on the mouse and I go add and I go monitor capture now I called this um, analog you guys can call it analog stick if you like something like that um, now, you'll get a drag down. Sorry, it's not monitor capture. What am I doing? Add window capture. Um, analog stick. And then I go down to, I choose the program, which is an X input view. Um, and instead, you can do the entire window or the inner window. The inner window will do it to where you have no minimize, maximize, and close button. Um, the entire window will, you know, it's the entire window of the of the program. But what I use is I use subregion. Now the reason why I use subregion is simply because I don't want the rest of the controller on the video. You know, um, when people watch, I'll, I want to try and maximize the screen that I have. Um, and the way that I do it is I don't have all the other buttons because. You know, in trials you don't really press these that much. I mean, you know, some people may play trials with the A button instead of the instead of the trigger, but it's it's very rare. Um, so before I start waffling on, uh, <laughs> select region, and then you have like a border around the window. Now what I do is this takes a lot of precision. It takes a lot of messing about to get it perfect but I do something along these lines to get it to where the, the only thing that's captured from this program in this window is the analog stick now you guys can set this perfectly by just using the analog stick in real time with your controller and you'll be able to see, see so that's perfect now I'm not gonna and then of course you click OK and you'll have that set up on your video. Um, the only way that I'm I'm not gonna do it because I already have it set up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel this and and uh, I'll quickly go over the uh, the um, the X pad pad a right trigger um, throttle status bar. Um, so this one Again, you just do the same thing. You go add uh, window capture, and then you go say you can call it like throttle. That's what I do. So I don't want to rename it over what I already have. But um, so you call it throttle. Actually, do you know what? It's better if I do it on a blank screen like this. So you guys can probably actually see what I'm doing in real time. And I'll delete this. So if I add a scene and I say test. Um, 
and then I go add window capture um, let's call it throttle and trigger left right set one now that automatically came up because I think it was the last one that I clicked but this is what you're looking for um, now I again I use subregion I select the region now you can do this for the brake or the 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 throttle on the right it's up to you guys what you want to do but I use just the status bar and I subregion it to try and get it exactly perfect can be a bit fiddly um, but once you're done I hit OK now then I click edit scene and like a, a box will come up and try and maximize this so you guys can get the idea of this this is on the video as you know this is my video screen on this I'm doing a monitor capture so you guys can see what I'm doing but as you can see um, it will show exactly how much power I'm putting on now you guys can make this to whatever size you want you will find that you can't go lower than this um, if you do that way but if you maximize it the trick to this is um, to select the the vertical side and then go down and you can make it as small as you want like this okay so that's that and then of course uh, I have the overlay so if I go add image and then I go um, overlay Browse, go to the desktop, try and locate the file, it's called new. So I then use new and I use um, the image, I don't change anything and I just click OK. Um, now, bearing in mind this image here, the one that I've chosen is actually look at this, let's delete that. Let me try and find the one I use. Overlay control properties. Um, user user desktop no back attempt PNG. Basically, I've just gone into Photoshop and got rid of all the background. Um, so if I go edit scene, add image. Overlay, browse, user, user desktop, no back attempt. Right now, you guys can't see this perfectly um, because the game is not added. So if I go add game capture. Now bearing in mind, you guys, some of you guys may know how to do all this stuff, but I'm going through it one by one for people who may never have used this program before. And I, I hope you guys find this, you know, the most helpful way to go about this. Um, so I just go Charles Capture, you guys can name it whatever you want. Um, now application, go all the way down to... Try and find it. Trials FMX, Trials Evolution Gold Edition. Click OK. Um, let me just quickly go into the game. So, updates. There you go. Now, I bring the overlay, order, move up. And then again with the throttle, order, move up. Now, with the o you, can, you guys can make your own overlay if you want to. You know, I'm. I'm not the best at Photoshop, I'm very lazy, I got I got some good friends to do this stuff for me. But I mean I'm just showing you guys the basics here and the idea of how to get go about doing this. Um, you know, so something along these lines and you get the again, I'm in edit scene, so I can make it as low as I want to, and then simply And like I said earlier, it can be very fiddly. Very fiddly. So 
So it will take them some time. I'm just quickly trying to demo for you guys how I went about doing this. It's very fiddly and it took me a long time to do. But it's very much worth it when you have it finished. So let me just try and maximize this now. Alright, so now you guys can see that the so one thing that you can't do is um, you always need this window you need like a second monitor um, it's kind of key because if you have a, a window like OBS covering where the status bar is it won't show it won't show at all but in the bottom right you guys can now see that the throttle bar goes and it, you know it's that easy so again I'll just very quickly um, you guys get the general idea of how I'm doing this now. If I go to uh, window capture and I go um, analog and then I go X input view and I go sub region and I go select region um, again you need a second monitor for this I can't stress this enough because otherwise you'll never be working in full screen mode when you're making your videos There we go, so I click OK. <laughs> and on the screen you guys can see how it's taken a part of <laughs> a part of the uh, the OBS overlay. But with a second monitor, or if you guys don't mind, you know, using say the top half of your screen to make a video, you guys can do it do it this way if you don't have a second monitor and, and you know just try and position things so you can maximize the screen usage if you don't have a second monitor um, but something like that and then we go edit scene bring it down again order it so it's positioned right um, very fiddly work and you can use the arrow keys in the program to do, use fine adjustments. Um, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm giving my golden baby of the PC video community to everybody. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you guys will appreciate me showing you guys how to do this. Um, but like I've said, it can be very fiddly and... I hope that this will give you guys the basic idea of how to do these things. Um, if you need any information at all, any tips or anything like along those lines, you know, just drop me a message. Drop me a message on Twitch, drop me a message on YouTube, drop me a message on the forums.